Hey, so we went to the woodshed in southern Ontario. This place has wood from everywhere in the world, it seems. Just tons of beautiful stuff. We wanted to find some wood that has really pretty grain in it so that we could see what it looked like when we poured art resin on top of it. Before you art resin something, it doesn't hurt to do the water test. Art resin makes wood look wet, which as you will see is awesome. Always raise up your work on something to avoid it sticking to the table. Make sure you are level. We're pouring a thick liquid all over this after all. I like this one to one mixing ratio, just because you can measure it just by looking at it with your eyes, as opposed to some odd mixing ratio epoxy resins. So, black walnut. It has beautiful grains. This wood is from southern Ontario. Some of these trees can be over 300 years old. It's just so rich. Purple heart. This wood is said to be one of the hardest and stiffest woods in the world. It's very expensive and comes from South America. I just kind of wipe the drips into the sides if they run down. Next, red grandis. It's a eucalyptus tree, also from South America. Very, very often used in high-end uh, custom furniture. Hard curly maple has just a crazy wood grain. This wood is from any maple tree really, and they think that some environmental factors just make it go all wonky. So last is zebra wood. This stuff has dark stripes on a light background, and it's mostly from Central Africa. I was really happy to read that they grow and harvest this stuff responsibly. So here I'm just running a small torch over the surface, just forcing all these bubbles up to the top. And then just let it sit and cure overnight. Okay, that was a cool experiment. So I'll kind of go in order. Black walnut looks really beautiful. Everything that was dark just got darker. It just adds so much color to it. Again, just increases the saturation. It's rock hard. Put a drink on this. You can put hot things on it. You see it on bars and you see it at tables at restaurants and stuff too. And it just looks amazing. Purple heart, I mean, is that not awesome? Just love it. It's just beautiful. Okay, red grandis. The art resin takes it looking from just like a piece of wood to like, you know, something that's finished, a finished flooring. I'm a painter, so I use it on painting. So to see this is just exciting for me. Beautiful. Red curly maple. Same thing, just awesome. I think zebra wood turned out the best. Imagine making anything out of that, how rich that would look. Good, I'm sold. You can use art resin on wood. Thanks for watching. If you have any other ideas of stuff that we can test resin on, let me know. We have a lot of photography ones coming up. It just brings your photographs to just another level of display. If you wanna sell your art or impress people, stay tuned for those videos. All right.